habli mulkan la yanbaghi li ahadin min ba'di sulaiman alayhi salam says grant me kingdom ownership of that which you won't give someone after me he says innaka antal wahhab he uses the term wahhab the name wahhab you are indeed the giver wahhab is one who gives gifts the one who gives gifts al wahhab wahhab i know of another place where the term or the the name should i say wahhab is used in a supplication it's used in a supplication guess which supplication anyone knows in the quran yes where else is it used for what other thing here sulaiman alayhi salam is asking for something uh, that's well for you and i it's impossible obviously for allah it's not he's saying give me give me that which you're not going to give someone after me something yes thank you so much ربنا هب لنا من ازواجنا وذرياتنا قرة اعين واجعلنا للمتقين اماما the name wahhab is although it's not used there but it's used for family and children the na- the name wahhab is used for family and children let me read a verse for you okay so you know zakaria alayhi salam didn't have children right what did he say he says Rabbi hab li min ladunka dhurriyatan tayyibah Again he used the term hab hab means grant me a gift grant me a gift of what of family progeny children who will be a gift from you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we gave him the gift and and so in the Quran it says al wahhab the name of Allah that is used wahhab in this case as well so allah is giving the gift something that you lost hope about but not from allah which i didn't lose hope in allah but i lost hope in 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 worldly things people get married and it's happening often may allah grant ease to all those who are married in their marriages and those who don't have children allah bless them with children as well but it's quite stressful when years are passing and you know what people are just looking at you thinking it's about time you started a family and you're busy thinking it's got nothing to do with about time i i wanted to start a family the day i got married in fact i started a family but it's up to allah when he's going to bless us with children right people might say well you need to you need to be on a strict diet you know get off sugars and gluten and this and yeah that that may help you it it's good to do things that perhaps might you know purify your reproductive system in a beautiful way perhaps yeah you can try that out it's worked for a lot of people but at the same time isn't it some emptiness that you feel within you to say i don't have children yet man allahu akbar here's the name seek forgiveness of allah rabbi ighfirli oh allah forgive me and then that wahhab innaka antal wahhab habli oh allah grant me grant me what from my wives from my family members from my children those who will be the coolness of my eyes so not only am i asking for children and family but i'm asking for those who will be the coolness of my eyes when your child grows older and they're adolescent and they grow beyond that you'd like to at least be happy hey that's my son that's my daughter 